We're here at uh, the Catherine Mulherin uh, Projects, and I've never seen an invitation of a show where the invitation is bigger than the painting. So this is a huge, look at this, this is huge. And you know, and it's not in real size, it's like, it's like a massive reproduction of one of these kind of paintings. Now, this is Shauna Bourne, Poses. Um, I thought it was Posse's at first. It might as well be her Posse. I have a feeling this is her friends and family. Um, and it reminds me there's a tradition among visual artists to go from town to town painting nice old rich houses. And then you have a show of people's houses. They come and see the show. They buy the painting of their own house. So I have a feeling people are coming in here and going, oh, look, it's a painting of me. I'm going to buy it. I've seen this, I've seen this kind of, I don't know if it's the same artist, but I've seen this work. Something about the people with the skin so fair that it looks like they might bleed. And, uh, mm -hmm. And that you know they're all like you know, peaches about to get bruised. So like a tenderness. I've seen it before, and it's, it seems to be very popular with people. And I don't know. It's like the vulnerability of like of the. You know, everybody else looks like they have a story to tell you. you know? They do look. They have a story to tell me. So, yeah. I, I, don't know, I like it. It's not, I feel like it's not for me. But, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's style over substance in a way. Um, these look like, I don't know how to describe bruised meat socks. <laughs> like, there's a, I mean, if you look at the detail, the actual painterly painting of this is, is really nice. I mean, look at her hair. Yeah. It's like large brush strokes. It doesn't pretend to be something else. It's very energetic and dynamic. But if you look at the face, it's just kind of like a lumpy, and, and the eyes are kind of dead. Like these, these don't really have personality for me. And a lot of people who are very, you know, uh, nothing against this artist, but a lot of people who are very good at portraiture um, are good technically, but they're still sort of missing a personality or, or you know, kind of a look. Because you're so, you know, getting everything so correct. I right? kind of like, you get the sort of like very dull kind of stare. It doesn't really sort of tell me anything. I just find it so stylized though. I know it's like Aryans on parade or something. <laughs> you know, and it's a. Uh, I feel like I get it, but it's not. It feels like a cult. You know, like I just wandered onto the wrong farm, and they're all staring at me. I like to see a series with other versions. Yeah. You know, I, I do want to know more about them, and I really enjoy the painting, especially the uh, the hair and, and everything about this. But uh, do I actually want to know more about them? No. <laughs> but. I do want to know. I feel like the guys I beat up. And, um, <laughs> the guys you beat up? Yeah. That's one of the best of mighty like small guys. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the. Look at that. I mean, that's just that's just lovely. I mean, I can technically stare at this except for the face. And it's just it looks like a it looks like a wooden puppet. You know, it's, it's like their their mouth should clack as someone like you know controls them talking. It's just and, and it could be the greatest compliment that it's unsettling to me or. But they're just kind of missing, missing life force. Or something That's the, uh, I forget what it's called, but they did a study about that, where they found that if you design a robot that looks too much like a human but has Thank a few you. fatal flaws, it freaks people out to the point where they don't want to be near it. Yeah. But if you take the same robot with all the same programs, <laughs> they look like the robot instead of human. It's okay. And, and it's because faces are the single most powerful oh, yeah. psychological yeah. object you can have in any any work. All right. Good stuff.